guys, it's Mouse here, and today I'm doing the Arcade Block October. So this box came a little late, but you know, what can you do? The mail is the mail. It does as it will. You shut too fast. Call of Duty. Ah, teacher, teacher. Oh my god, heck. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an Atari hat. Oh. Okay, I'm digging this. It's a little big for my head. I'm all like a gangster in this hat. Wait, I'm gonna turn it. Ah! And a follow up final figure. Oh man, I'm gonna totally catch black for this, but I have not purchased Fallout for. I have such a hard time playing Bethesda games. Like, I really like them, but there's something about that sandbox RPG where you can go on for days and never do the main quest that just totally makes me feel so alone. <laughs> and my experience, my first experience with a Bethesda game was Morrowind back in the day. And I, I loved it. I played it for, I probably put like, 50 hours into it and I never even touched the main storyline. I just got off the boat in, was it Balmora, I think? I just ran around the world and it was so much fun and everything was great and I killed a bunch of people in Balmora and took their houses and like I would drop all my in there and leave like little candlelit walkways up to the house so I knew which one was mine. Not that you really could own a house but you could put stuff in boxes and drop it on the ground so that's what I did to decorate. Then one day I decided I'm gonna play the main story quest. So I went all the way back to the place. You had a note you were supposed to give a guy to start the quest, or to start the story anyway. Turns out, you can sell that note, <laughs> or drop it. And so, uh, you know, I went to every vendor that I'd ever been to. I looked everywhere. I could not find that note, and so I, I couldn't play the game. It was literally, like, who does that? Who puts something in the game that is required to progress and allows you to sell, delete, or drop it. <laughs> After that, I was like, that. Beyond that, it was, I played a little bit of Oblivion, but I didn't like that one as much. I played Skyrim, and I liked that one, but again, I just felt so, I always feel so lonely. And then Fallout, of course. Fallout 3 I really liked, but again, it's like super depressing. There's, it's a wasteland. You can have companion, but they don't talk to you. And I think, dog could die and it's just sad times. There's a lot of hype around Fallout 4 and I kind of want to play it but I'm also like, it's, I don't know. But anyway, what's this final? I have the tendency to just ramble. I'm like that grandpa that tells you all the stories about his yesteryear. Oh, a little Grim Reaper vault boy thing. This is kind of cute. This, this is indicative of my experience with Fallout. Always dead. Oh, Retro City Rampage. And it looks like it's a Nintendo 64 box. <laughs> Which, what my favorite. I got a literal game? That's pretty awesome. Carjack the 80s at 88 miles per hour. I have Legos? Oh no, it's Connects. I haven't seen Connects since I was, I don't know, like eight years old. <laughs> Titanfall Connects. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, alright, well that was that. That was my arcade block. Make sure you check out my sci-fi block unboxing. I got that recently as well. They both came at the same time late. And as always, if you liked the video, make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. May the force be with you.